The 716 in two minutes. Brought to you by Custom Carpet Centers. I'm Jeff Rusak with 7 Eyewitness News. We're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. The number of people dying from the coronavirus continues to climb, while the number of hospital beds available here in western New York continues to shrink. 95 people died from COVID-19 across the state on Friday. That includes 19 people here in western New York. Well over 27,000 lives have now been lost statewide since the pandemic began in March. The percentage of available hospital beds in western New York is 26%. Western New York's overall positivity rate is now 6.8%. That's down from Thursday and is still the third highest region in the state. Hey, drivers beware of a new traffic regulation in the North Towns. The town of Tonawanda has reduced the school zone speed limit on Kenmore Avenue in the area of St. Joseph's Collegiate Institute to 20 miles per hour. This was done to improve safety around the schools. The reduced speed limit is in effect on school days from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. The request came from the school officials who say students cross Kenmore Avenue frequently. Now meteorologist Michelle McLeod has a look at our forecast. Well, Jeff, we have a wind advisory in effect later tonight until early tomorrow, well, tomorrow afternoon, 11, 11 a.m. tomorrow for all the counties that you see here in the light brown color with those wind gusts near 50 miles an hour. Any rain that we saw today, we'll see that change over into a snow. Your highest temperatures will be in the morning for Sunday, and then we'll continue with those just below average temperatures, seeing some snow on Monday. This will be lake effect. Check out how low those temperatures get for the bulk of the seven day in the 20s, bouncing back to the 30s for the end. The 716 in two minutes brought to you by Custom Carpet Centers.